I'm Margaret Lang Tan. I'm the world's first toy piano virtuoso. I'm also the first woman to graduate from Juilliard. Life works in strange and mysterious ways. I like the challenge of playing the toy piano. I came to the toy piano because of my mentor John Cage, who wrote his suite for toy piano in 1948, and that was the first ever serious piece of music written for the toy piano. I discovered this piece in 1993 when I was asked to give a John Cage Memorial Tribute at Lincoln Center's Serious Fun Festival, and I thought this would be the perfect piece for a Serious Fun Festival. It gave me the idea that the toy piano had potential, that it had possibilities beyond just being a toy, that with hard work, imagination, and sheer foolishness, um, I could perhaps turn it into a real instrument. After all, Marcel Duchamp did say, poor tools require better skills. So I worked at it, and I worked at it, and I made arrangements, and I got my composer friends excited about the magical sound of the toy piano, and spurred them on to unprecedented heights of creative frenzy. And before I knew it, I had a repertoire, and a touring career as the world's first professional toy piano player. I started collecting toy pianos about 20 years ago. Um, let me say that I now have about maybe between 20 to 25 toy pianos in various um, states of um, excellence or um, non-functionality. Uh, I have my two touring instruments and um, I realized how much these mean to me when I lost one of my toy pianos last month going to Berlin and it took them four days to find it and it arrived half an hour after my performance. And then I realized there are toy pianos and there are toy pianos and what I have with my particular instruments, to me they are like the, um, the Stradivarius of toy so I was very, very happy to be reunited with my toy piano. Many, many composers, as I said, have written for the toy piano. There is now a substantial repertoire for the toy piano. You see, I started the whole um, idea of turning the toy piano into a real instrument almost 20 years ago. And now there are other people following in my footsteps. And I'm very, very proud to say that it is now becoming an established genre and that there are other excellent toy pianists out there who have also commissioned works. So now there is really a sizable repertoire for the toy piano. My dear friend Phyllis Chen um, is another toy pianist and she started the Uncaged Toy Piano competition where composers would submit pieces written specifically for the toy piano and um, as a result of that, the repertoire has grown by leaps and bounds. John Cage has taught me a great deal apart from music. He's taught me about life. He's taught me about the indivisibility of the different arts. That basically his credo had been and still is um, for me, art equals life equals theatre. And that equation uh, comes across in many of his theatre works, like Water Music, even his famous silent piece, 4 minutes and 33 seconds. But I realised how much a part of that equation has become my life. I mentioned Water Music, which is a collage of real world sounds, and one day I realised to my astonishment that all the sounds contained in this piece whether it be the radio, the duck calls, the sound of water. Uh, it's everything that you can hear when, when you open my window on a summer afternoon. There are even arpeggios in the piece, and I could be practicing arpeggios if I was a normal pianist. And then there's the ducks flying south from Prospect Park in late summer, and the water hydrants are gushing because the children are hot, and they're, they're 
they, they've opened the hydrants for them to play, and you hear the sirens um, screeching down the avenue. So um, it really is a collage of real world sounds that I can say I have personally experienced firsthand. So yes, art equals life equals theater. Another of my great passions is animals. Love of animals is integral to my way of life. I live with six rescued dogs and um, I think these dogs are more familiar with avant-garde music than most people. They love listening to me practice, whether it be Cage or Crumb or Cowell, and sometimes they sing. <laughs> 